Hey guys, it's Scott here from Zell My God Play, and still I'll be unboxing the Ambassador Edition of the new Nintendo 3DS console. So, in order to get this particular version of the console, you'd have to receive an email from Nintendo Europe, whereby upon clicking on the email, it would take you to a special page on the Nintendo Store, and if you were eligible, you'd be able to purchase this particular bundle. Other than that, you won't be able to get it unless you buy it off eBay, so only a few chosen people within Europe are able to get this unit and here we are so let's get straight to the unboxing so to start off with we've got the uh, new Nintendo 3DS logo and the Ambassador Edition logo printed all the way around the box itself on the actual uh, front spines and back and then there's also a quick uh, barcode so there's nothing really flashy about the box it's just pretty uh, basic a little bit sleek and in a sense black and white although the ambassador edition logo is silver so if we just get this open once opened you'll notice that uh, there's a bit of padding on the inside as well as uh, all of the content separated out and unfortunately I've pulled it out upside down so as you can see there's nothing extra inside the box once you slid it all out turning it over you can see we've got all the actual uh, gubbings on the inside so the ambassador edition or ambassador edition of the, uh, the new Nintendo 3DS console comes in its own generic box we then have the uh, cradle which is in white for this particular unit as the console itself is white and then the last piece that's included in this ambassador edition bundle is the Super Smash Bros uh, faceplate whereby you have the uh, variety of main popular characters edged into the faceplate for the top and bottom or front and back whichever you'd prefer to call it so it's just a thin piece of cardboard that keeps it all held in together nothing really that special about it but at least it keeps it safe so in short this is what you get on the inside of the uh, ambassador edition the console a faceplate and the cradle moving away from the contents of the ambassador edition we will now get around to actually unboxing it but before that, we'll just do a quick comparison of what the package is like compared to a normal 3DS XL console box. So we've got the Ambassador Edition new Nintendo 3DS as well as the box for the original 3DS XL. As you can see, it's pretty much the same size, which is a bit weird because obviously the 3DS XL is quite a bit bigger. So uh, not sure what's going off there, but uh, both are nice, sleek and small boxes. So to start off with, we've got the front of the packaging, where as you can see you've got two different age rating logos, one for Germany and one for Europe, which is the PEGI rating. On the spine you've got uh, information of what particular cartridges work in this particular console, so as you can see here it's compatible with 3DS software, DS and DSi software, which shouldn't come as a surprise really. And then at the bottom the uh, barcode has been uh, stickered over. On the back it gives you a rundown of all of the new features that you can expect from your new 3DS console such as a uh, super stable 3D option whereby your 3D effects are more long, uh, better than what they were previously the C-Stick and Amiibo support as well as the option for uh, removable faceplates and putting different faceplates on all of which will be available to purchase when the console is eventually released. On the spine we've got the, uh, or the right hand side of the spine, we've got a list of all the contents that's included, such as the console itself, the cover plates, the stylus, 4 gig micro SD card, and the instruction manuals. And on the top, it gives you a rundown of what the actual writing says on the front or top of the 3DS console. So, Entrust Sky Company, or what the uh, kanji writing means on the top of the console, in case you wanted to know which most of us who purchase this console do want to know. So history lesson aside, we'll get this uh, open and out of the way. So moving on first to all the documentation that no one will ever read, although I may have a flick through just to give you a rough idea of what's here. So we've got the customer support manual in case anything ever goes wrong with it, the operations manual which is basically a detailed analysis and guide of what you can and cannot do and how to use your console including removing and uh, changing faceplates. We've then got the quick start guide which gives you a rough explanation on how to turn on your console, connect it to your local Wi-Fi network as well as uh, the Miiverse post and so forth, all of which is presented in some colour. 
And then finally we have the AR cards, which are obviously for the augmented reality, which I've hardly ever used. Moving on, we'll get to the main piece of this uh, unboxing, which is of course the console itself. So interestingly enough, the uh, console comes in two pieces. You have the top face plate coming separately, for whatever reason, as you can just see here. And then we have the main console unit, which comes protected in its own little foamy packet. So for whatever reason, they decided to uh, make the top faceplate come separate, as opposed to being already attached to the console. I presume it's to keep it from getting damaged or scratched, but whatever, it really doesn't make much sense. So that's where you have the top, and that's where the top faceplate would go. And then on the bottom, we've got the Nintendo logo, and as you can see, in order to get the faceplate off, you need to unscrew some uh, screws. Opening it up and here's where you can see what the console is like. So there's quite a lot of differences when compared to the original 3DS and 3DS XL. For example, the stylus pen is now at the bottom and so is the audio port. The power button is also on the bottom. The uh, game carts also go in the bottom. The home screen and the start and select buttons have all been moved around and obviously the biggest change is the uh, addition of a, an analog stick and multicolored buttons which replicate the SNES controller. So after a couple of seconds I've managed to get the top faceplate attached to the console. So this is what it will look like once you've got all the faceplates attached and they're all perfectly secured. So the ambassador edition of the Nintendo 3DS looks like this, which is uh, pretty cool and unique. And now just to give you a better demonstration of what the new Nintendo 3DS standard size is like for the XL, here is my old Nintendo 3DS XL for size comparison. So as you can see from just looking at it, the, it, the 3DS XL is bigger, but when you compare them side by side or on top of each other, they're actually not that much bigger in terms of size. So as you can see, there's only about an inch, if not less, um, in size difference. So the new Nintendo 3DS has a bigger screen than the old 3DS and it's still a smaller screen than the 3DS XL but it doesn't feel much like a compromise or a downgrade because you get, in a sense, a better overall product. So in short, this is what you can expect from the new Nintendo 3DS Ambassador Edition which is the new Nintendo 3DS console itself, all the paperwork and the actual uh, faceplate. Now with the actual console itself unboxed, we're now going to take a look at the uh, additional accessories that come bundled with it. So for example, this first one is the uh, charging cradle, whereby you can dock the new Nintendo 3DS console into to charge it like you would uh, an iPhone or an iPad docking station type charger or cradle charger. Um, these will be sold separately, but as a special unique item to the... Uh, Ambassadors, you get them included, hence the rather large price tag that was with the Ambassador edition of the console. But disappointingly, you don't get a charger with it, so you will have to use one that you've either purchased separately or one that you've previously used on a DS console, for example. So, there's nothing really much to show or say about the Cradle box, it's just a simple box with loads of information, warning signs on each side. And once you've got it open, it's just a simple piece of plastic with markings telling you where to put the uh, charge cable into. As you can just see, it goes into the uh, bottom just here. And then once you've got the uh, charger cradle placed on the table, or wherever you want to place it, you just uh, drop the 3DS console into the top, as so. And if it's plugged in, then it'll shine a light to say that it's charging. So uh, nothing spectacular, but once set up properly it does look pretty cool but I think I'll just stick with the actual normal charging process itself but at least it gets to show off the faceplate that you're currently using to everyone else in the room and in addition to the cradle itself you'll also get some documentation that tells you how to use it which to be fair is quite amusing because it's a simple piece of kit now the final piece that came bundled with the ambassador edition of the new Nintendo 3DS console 
is the Super Smash Bros. faceplate. At the moment, I'm not going to open it or unseal it as I want to keep it as mint condition as I can for the time being, but I will give you a close look at what to expect. So the bottom faceplate, which goes on the bottom of the uh, 3DS console, has a variety of characters such as Villager and Metroid and Marth, whereas the top faceplate has more of the popular characters such as Link, Mario, Pikachu and Kid Icarus, which obviously that top faceplate will go on the top of the console and show it off to the public more. On the back, because it's just a plastic packaging, there's nothing really to say, but it does give you a rough idea of how to uh, place it onto your new 3DS console, as well as the consoles that it is compatible with. So that's what you can expect from the Club Nintendo exclusive of the new Nintendo 3DS Ambassador Edition, which is exclusive to Nintendo of Europe.